Hello Card Monkey fans, this is Ellen. I'm going to be bringing this week's Tip of the Week via video form. I hope that you enjoy this. Um, I am still learning how to use my bloggy video camera, so bear with me please. I promise blog candy at the end of this video, so hopefully it's not too uh, totally boring or um, because I haven't figured out how to use the editing tool. Today we're going to be learning how to make your own rub-on sentiments. I am up in the paper jungle, which is my craft area upstairs. I operate a um, computer up here. Um, I have one downstairs as well, but this one up here is a desktop uh, PC. Overlooks my driveway downstairs. Um, an HP inkjet printer. Uh, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. And I am using the Adobe Illustrator program today for this uh, sentiment, but you can use whatever program you choose, including just a standard Word format. You don't need a whole lot of computer savvy in order to make this uh, project. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be printing sentiments onto transparency film for inkjet printers. This one happens to be by 3M. Most people know of this as an overhead projector sheet. Um, this particular box came, I got this at Staples, it came in a box of 50 sheets. Um, each sheet is 8.5 by 11. This box of um, transparency sheets was very expensive, I think. $54 on sale for 50 sheets. This will see you through your lifetime of rub-on um, sentiments. And um, your blog candy today will be five sheets of this for your own use that you could try this out without having to make a major investment at Staples. So I've made a, a card uh, that I want to have a rub-on sentiment. Quite honestly, I think that the easier way to either is either to stamp your image or to print your image onto your card. But this card was already made, so I didn't, and I didn't have a stamp that said that what I wanted it to say. So that's why I devised this way of rubbing on a sentiment. What I want the card to say is "Happy Easter Chickadee." So I'm going to type that out, and I am going to um, grab that, and I'm going to move that sentiment onto my page up there. You can see that there. Now in order to print this you need to have a mirror reflection of this. So I'm going to go up to my program and I'm going to select the object. I'm going to, oh, first you have to, you do have to select the image. I'm going to go up to the object again, transform it. Sorry hard to do this when you only have two hands, you know, and the, 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 the uh, bloggy really just doesn't, doesn't like adjusting its, its, its uh, focus for you, but we're going to hit reflect. It is going to be a vertical reflection, and there you can see how it has reversed out the image. So again, I just want to drag this onto the sheet where I want it to print. Um, now, when you use these sheets, there it is, your, your backwards image, your mirror reflection image. When you use these sheets, these 3M sheets, the instructions will say to use the side that has a, a texture. That, that allows the ink to dry onto the um, film so that it doesn't come off when you're running your overhead projector. However, for this project, what you want to do is ignore those instructions and you want to print on the non-textured side. Now here you can see the uh, paper. Now, it, yeah, well, you may be able to see it. This film um, on this side of the sheet is textured. It has very little gloss on it, as you can probably see, as I'm trying to show you in the camera. On this side, however, very shiny. So um, that is the side you want to print on. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through my printer. I'm going to be put, putting it on the side that my printer operates that it prints on the bottom side. So I'm going to be putting the shiny side down. And then I'm going to um, hit print. Come up here. Hit print. And then um, through the magic of TV, 
I can show you that I've already printed one of these out for you and I've laid it out on my card and but I'm going to be putting it the wet side down so I put it wet side down here and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish those letters onto this card to do that I use this my, this is my little Cricut boning tool um, I use it for everything. I use it for boning as well as... Whoop, I'm sorry, did I cover up the microphone again? Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see. Uh, hopefully that didn't cover up too badly. Anyway, I'm going to be covering this. I'm going to be rubbing, burnishing all these letters. And I'm going to be doing each letter individually to make sure everything comes off just perfectly right. Okay, so um, you should hold this down if you weren't filming like I am with your hands. You can tape it down, whatever, gently using painter tape. Anyway, rub, 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 rub a whole lot and get that done. And then when you're finished burnishing, again, through the magic of TV, we show you that it will come out looking like this. So now you have your message already burnished on here and there's no more ink left on your, you see it's pretty much scratched off. If you burnished a little bit more you'd actually get all of that ink out off of there but um, again I didn't have too much time to do that for you without totally boring you. So that now after I have this done, I want to take my card and I'm now I'm going to be decorating it. I'm going to be, I want to stick on one of these stickers here. This sticker is by Recollections. These are dimensional stickers. I'm going to use this one. And then I'm also going to be using some ribbon that I'm going to put on there. And I'm going to tie a little bow. I'm going to put the ribbon on using this Sukwang, double-sided. This stuff is great. I put the uh, like a little strip of this on the one side of the ribbon, and it will stay nice and straight for you. And so get that done. Put that on, and then voila! Magic of TV. You see a finished card. Actually, I made that one in advance, so so I didn't completely bore you. But um, any case, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you leave a comment. P please be a follower so that I know how to reach you. Leave a comment, and I will send you five sheets of the... Um, one person will be able to win five sheets of transparency film for inkjet printers that you could try this out on yourself. Have a good time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.